The following is construction four, which is to construct an angle bisector of a given angle. Now, let's suppose we have this angle here, and we will bisect this angle such that the resulting angle, such that this angle later on, is separated by a ray, and that ray separates that into two congruent angles there. Okay. Now, the first thing I will do, I will put my pivot leg of the compass at the vertex, and then I will swipe it. I swipe passing through two legs. Okay, and then I will put my pivot. I pull my pivot and then uh, I will put it on both of the intersection points of the arc and the legs. Then I swipe it here, somewhere in the middle of this angle, and swipe it here. Okay. So you see that I do the I do the swiping here. And then from this point and this point, I swipe somewhere in the middle. They meet at one point. That point will be the point uh, where the ray, the bi angle bisecting line, angle bisector line passes through. That will be our angle bisector. Okay, such that this angle here is now congruent to the angle here. Okay. Now, of course, you may wonder. Uh, well, what happens if the angle we get is not an acute angle like the one here? Let's say we have an obtuse angle. The principle will be the same. Okay, the principle will be the same, and we will do. Uh, of course, we will do the same thing. Suppose I construct an obtuse angle. Let's say this is the obtuse angle, more than 90 degree. <coughs> okay, of course, we believe that the angle bisector will be somewhere in the middle there, right? Okay, now let's start with the uh, compass. I will put the uh, pivot leg of the compass at the vertex and I will swipe through these two legs of the one here and another one there. Okay, if you want you can swipe it through, but you don't have to. Okay, let me swipe it through, but it doesn't it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Okay, I hope you can see the shadow. Okay. Now then from here I will from here I will swipe from this intersecting point here, let's swipe that way, and then from this intersecting point here, let's swipe that way. Okay. Now this point now become. This point now become. Uh, let me show you. The point here now becomes the point where the angle bisecting ray will pass through. Okay, now this is these are the two angles that are now congruent. Okay, now this is construction four which is uh, to construct an angle bisector of a given angle. Now here I give you two given angles. First one is an acute angle the other one is an obtuse angle. The principle will be the same. 